So, for y z x transformation we already derived yesterday that x beta p y beta p and z beta p p stands for the point p and beta is a transformation is actually given by c x square plus c z square root c y 0 minus c y c x square plus c z square root 0 0 0 1 multiplied by c x by root of c x square z square 0 c z by root of c x square plus z z square 0 1 0 minus c z by root of c x square c z square 0 c x by root of c x square c z square. We derived this matrix yesterday multiplied by x bar p y bar p z bar p. When you do this multiplication, I will find a relationship between x beta p, y beta p, z beta p as c x, c y, c z minus c x, c y by root of c x square plus c z square root of c x square plus c z square minus c y c z by root of c x square plus c z square minus c z by root of c x square c z square 0 c x by root of c x square plus c z square multiplied by x bar p y bar p z bar p. So, if we expand this I can straight away write x beta p c x x bar p plus c y y bar p plus c z z bar p and so on y beta p and z beta p can be written ok. Simply I can write this. Now, very interestingly looking at this figure coordinates of the point p on x m y n plane is now given by y beta p and z beta p is it not. How can you say that? Let us say I view this from here and draw a section. Let us say my y m is vertical okay, and my z m is to the left of that. And my y beta is to the right of y m. So, this y beta and z beta obviously will be the left of z m z naught z beta. And if you take this point p somewhere on y m this is y m z naught this y m let us say we rub this arrow.
okay, this is y m. If I take this point p and I call this as point p, now this distance and this distance okay, will be simply known to us and this value is what we call as psi y is also equal to this. Okay. So, now the coordinates of this point will be given coordinates of point P on the x m y m plane is now given by y beta p and z beta p is it not. Look at this figure y zeta p and z beta p correct. So, I can now find sin psi y as simply z beta p by root of z beta p square plus y beta p square. Similarly, cos psi y can be simply y beta p by root of z beta p square plus y beta p square. I will use this relationship now. So, the coordinates of point p with reference to the reference axis system. Let us see what is that coordinates of point P with reference to the reference axis system should be of the point P let us say this figure of the point P. Now, I call this as my point P I am choosing this point on x i m plane I call this as my point P for the problem. Okay. So, the coordinates of this point with the reference axis system will be 4 comma I can write it here 4 okay, comma 4 comma 0 with reference to j at the end it will be 0 comma 0 comma minus 3 correct this end will be write down that here coordinates of point p will be 4 comma 4 comma 0 similarly the coordinates of point p with reference to the j at the end of the member 3 that is measured from the j th end will be 0 comma 0 comma minus 3 you can see here with reference to j th end this is j th end of this member this is the k th end of this member. So, 0 comma 0 comma minus 3 because z is positive here. Okay. So, thus the position vectors is given by x p y p and z p simply 0 0 and minus 3. Okay. Now, what are the coordinates of the j at the end with respect to x y z axis system? You can see here coordinates of the j at the end with respect to this will be 4 comma 4 comma 3 4 comma 4 comma 3. Similarly, coordinates of the k at the end with respect to x y x system you can see here this will be the origin. So, it is 0 is it not this is the k at the end. 
so it is 0. Now, the length of the member which is 3 is also known to us which is 6.402 meters we already computed that you can see here we already computed that. Okay. Now, let us compute C x, C y and C z the direction cosines which will be simply x k minus x j by L i y k y j L i z k z j L i. Let us do that 0 comma minus 4 by 6.402. 0 minus 4 by 6.402, 0 minus 3 by 6.402, okay, which will give me minus 0.625, minus 0.625, minus 0.469. These are my direction cosines. Once I get this, I can use this relationship x b p will be equal to this c x c y z z by this y b p will be equal to this row by the column and z b p will be this row multiplied by the column. So, let us do this relationship. So, I say x beta p which is given by c x x bar p plus c y y bar p plus c z z power p. C x and C y are anyway 0, <coughs> because the x p and y p bar are 0 plus C z is 0 0.469 into 3. Okay. So, that gives me this value as 1.407. Y beta p, if you look at the equation, this will be minus C x C y by root of C x square plus c z square of x bar p plus root of c x square plus c z square of y bar p minus c y c z root of c x square c z square of z bar p. We know these values are 0, therefore, this term will not be there. Let us substitute directly for the last term, which will be minus of minus 0 0.625 minus 0 0.469 okay, minus 3 divided by root of 0 0.625 square plus 0.469 square, which will be plus 1.125. Z beta p is given by minus C z of C x square plus C z square of x bar of p plus C x by root of square of C x and C z of z power of p. We know that this value is further 0. Let us substitute only for this value which will be minus 0 0.625 into minus 3 divided by root of 0 0.625 square plus 0 0.469 square which gives me this value as plus 2.4. Let us now compute sin psi y which is given by z beta p by root of z beta p square plus y beta p square. We already derive this expression. Let us substitute that now 2.40 by square root of <coughs> 2.40 square plus 1.125 square which becomes 0 0.905. Cos psi y which has been also derived as 
y beta p by z beta p square plus y beta p square which will be 1.125 by 2.4 square plus 1.125 square which gives me 0.424. So, now site y can be said as tan inverse of 0 0.905 by 0 0.424 because sin by cos will give you tan and the angle is tan inverse of that which gives me 64.897 degrees. But let us carefully mark psi y depending upon the figure. Let us take the member. The member 